This is William Penn News Now. I'm Jack Borgetti. And I'm Katie Hinchin. There are only five weeks left of school, which also means that Penn Stock, Penn's annual end of the year celebration, is quickly approaching. WPNN's Presley Joss checked in with SGA members to see how the planning for Penn Stock is coming along. Talk about Penn Stock. Student Government Association members at William Penn University are discussing the details. We have a hundred of these. Peeking at prizes and getting excited for this year's Penn Stock. Vice President of SGA, Roy Aguillong, is taking charge of planning and preparations. He says this year's Penn Stock will be one to remember. We wanted to be very dance focused. So hopefully we'll have the great music and you'll be able to dance throughout the night. If, say, you wanted to come and snack, we have a variety of food. Margarita machines, four of them, coming through. They will be virgin margaritas. This year's theme is fiesta. To spice things up, Aguillon says instead of the usual carnival feel Penn Stock has, this year will feel more like a party. He's most excited about the prizes. Every 10 minutes, we will be giving away $100 and all you have to do is be there. Aguillon says planning for Pennsock is mostly complete. However, he and all other SGA members are still searching for volunteers. Every hour that you volunteer, you'll get an additional three name slips, and uh, we are more than happy to take anybody who, uh, who wants to help out. For WPNN, I'm Presley Joss. Penstock will be May 4th from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. If you would like to volunteer for Penstock, you can find any SGA member or contact Roy Aguillon at 210-324-0119 or by email at aguillonr at wmpen.edu. According to Athletic Director Greg Hafner, all students on athletic scholarships will be expected to consent to random drug tests beginning this fall. The test selecting 100 athletes by computer will cover a wide variety of drugs including amphetamines, heroin, hallucinogens, and marijuana. For a link to the entire policy and all the essentials, visit the Statesman status. William Penn Volleyball has started spring practice. I was on hand for the story. The William Penn Volleyball team is working hard and ready for spring practice. Oh, spring's all about the kids developing, getting better, getting more reps, getting more touches. We know what they can do in the fall. As far as their strengths and weaknesses, now we try to get their weaknesses a little bit strengthened up, getting more well-rounded players. And this is when our freshmen make their biggest jump in our program is the individual training. They get a little bit more in the spring. With the younger players able to better their skills, the team has a few shoes that will need to be filled. Probably one of the biggest things is we lose quite a bit of seniors. Um, so we're going to have a new group of leaders. Seniors are going to need to step in, um, develop their chemistry take some leadership, kind of change the direction of where they want the team to go in the fall. Two players that can change the direction and grow as leaders are Katie Riley and Lacey Taylor. So it'll be a lot different going from a very old team to kind of a younger team and having all the younger athletes step up and have a big role. So Taylor and Riley have both been there, so they know what needs to happen this spring to improve as a team. Um, the attitude right now is actually really good. Um, obviously losing six seniors is hard, but everybody is stepping up right now, which is really good. With players stepping up and a good attitude, the volleyball team looks to improve this spring and to have fun doing so. So the practice morale, they haven't had a bad practice all spring. The intensity has been high. The team chemistry has been really well. So we're excited what we've seen so far and hope that that shows up in a couple of tournaments we play next month. Not only is volleyball spring practice in session, there is another sport looking to improve their skills in the off season. With spring grass and green turf, the William Penn football team has started spring practice. I talked to coach Todd Hafner to see what to expect. What we get out of spring ball a lot is, is it gives us an opportunity to one, stay sharp. You know, we, we, we do so much during the fall to make sure that our guys are ready on a weekly basis that, that this really just gives us an opportunity to, per se, get the season started. Spring is a lot of hard work for players and coaches, but what will Penn have to accomplish to compete once again in the Midwest Collegiate Conference? More because of what we do, and we've been doing it for so long now, it's more just refining everything. Um, you know, we'll... we'll, we'll Every spring we try a new wrinkle or two to see if it's something that we want to add uh, for the fall. And this spring's no different. You know, we'll try and throw in a couple wrinkles in the passing game and some things to, to try and make us better. Hard work is not accomplished without team unity. Younger players and older players may have different goals going into spring practice. Uh, you know, it, it is for the young guys, it's, it's, 
it's a new experience for a lot of them. Uh, for the older guys, it's, it's just uh, business as usual. The William Penn football team will be holding a spring scrimmage in April, and everyone is invited to come watch. The William Penn football team will be holding a scrimmage mid-April at the Lacey Complex. The William Penn University Bookstore is proud to announce that their textbook renting program has saved WPU students nearly $5,400 since late August of 2011. Bookstore manager Heidi Parker stated that there are 311 books that have been rented by students since August. By renting textbooks, this allows students to save 50% of the total book price. As long as the book is rented at the end of the semester, students will be saving substantial amounts of money on textbooks. In other news, wrestler Eric Berge pulled off a win at Nationals for the 2011-2012 season. Berge, ending his sophomore season with a 19-1 record, is only the fourth person ever to win at Nationals for William Penn University. That's our show for this week. For more William Penn news, please visit our website at statesmanstatus.wordpress.com. For WPNN, I'm Katie Hinchin. And I'm Jack Borcherding. Thanks for watching.